Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of Voice of Radio. So today, we're going to be taking a little bit of a look at a new Obama Snow, and ladies and gentlemen, Obama Snow can do automatic paralysis. And you may have noticed in some of my previous videos, I get kind of excited about automatic paralysis. I'm willing to say it out loud. Automatic paralysis makes me happy. Of course, there's a catch. We'll get there. Let's start off having a look at the basics. Although first, let me remind you that our translation here comes from both the lovely Joe over at Cerebi.net and the lovely David from LimitlessTCG.com slash translations. So with the pleasantries out the way, 140 HP. 140 HP is big for a stage one. All right, it's not up there with Waylord or indeed Waylord. Although Waylord is rotating, but the good news is Waylord isn't, so we're, we're, it's all right in that regard. But, you know, what is up there with Waylord? 140 is really good. There's a whole bunch of stage twos we've looked at lately, like indeed Talonflame. I don't think we've actually looked at Talonflame lately. It depends on the order in which I upload these, but point is Talonflame's got 140, and that's a stage... No, it's actually got 130. I'm lying to you. And this has got 140. That's really nice. And it's got a retreat cost of 4. Retreat cost of 4 is beautiful nowadays. That is really what we're looking for. Because it means you can play buff padding to get yourself an extra 50 HP. And incidentally, with choice band rotating out, cars like buff padding are going to see a lot more play. Because at the moment we're going, well, I like buff padding, but I'm not willing to give up choice band. Well, when there's no choice band to give up, buff padding becomes like a 47 billion times better. And, of course, it means you can use Pokemaniac to search it out. That is one of the new Pokemon searching cards we've got. I've detailed in a couple videos, especially my rotation video. I'll pop a link in the description. That we are really going to be struggling for Pokemon search post-rotation. Well, Pokemaniac lets you search for free Pokemon with a retreat cost of 4. Which means that retreat cost of 4 now means you can actually search this stuff out way more easily. And that is a beautiful beautiful thing we're also getting lickitung in the new set and lickitung's got an attack for one colorless energy that lets you draw one card for each pokemon you've got in play with a retreat cost of four make no mistake about it ladies and gentlemen it is really really good having a retreat cost of four nowadays and for anyone that's wondering yes snova also has a retreat cost of four and you're a water pokemon now the Downside is we've lost Brooklet Hill, so you can't search out as easily. And we've lost Aqua Patch for energy acceleration. But the good news is we've still got the combination of Naganadal and Quagsire, which will get you your energy. Plus you're hitting weakness on Fire Pokemon, which includes Blacephalon, which is great and will be post-rotation. And Reshiram and Charizard, which is going to be the best deck in the format post-rotation. And as soon as Unbroken Bonds comes out, to be honest. And yeah. This, this has a lot going for it before we start. Slightly longer intro than we usually do, but there was a lot to talk about. I hope you can forgive me. As always, timestamps in the description if you do want to jump straight to the attacks. So the first attack here is the one with which we are primarily concerned. One water, two colorless energy, super speed refrigeration. Love the attack name. 70 damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon has a water energy attached to it, it is paralyzed. Now... The translation here makes a huge difference. Because if they have to have basic water energy on, then that means you're only paralyzing Pokemon with basic water energy, obviously. But there aren't that many Pokemon doing that at the moment, and it becomes immeasurably worse. Whereas if it is water energy, then you're also catching Pokemon that have rainbow energy attached, or super boost energy attached, and now all of a sudden, it's an awful lot better. Now, I have checked with a lovely David Hockman, who is both an excellent translator and an excellent Pokemon TCD judge, and he has confirmed that it is any water Pokemon, which means this will paralyze if your opponent has a rainbow energy on, or if your opponent has a super boost energy, or anything along those lines. Any energy that provides water will suffice here, which instantly, instantly makes it way, way better. Now, it's still not going to be everything. There are still going to be Pokemon, a lot of Pokemon that don't have water energy attached. But it gives you a nice option. 70 damage for free energy isn't great. 70 damage plus translation, yeah. 
that's that's pretty gosh darn good here now the energy cost is a little bit annoying we are losing double colorless energy to the rotation and we are losing aqua patch but we are still going to have naganadal and quagsire naganadal attaches one basic energy per naganadal to itself per turn and then quagsire can move it all to the active whenever you like so it's really not a big problem getting the energy on there we're pretty sorted in that regard yay but the damage is a slight problem here because we're also losing choice band and when i'm looking at these new cards now and i've said this in a couple of videos we need to be aware of the fact that this set is becoming legal the day after rotation so we're not gonna have choice band we're just not and this in the format at the same time japan will for a little while but we won't so that means that you're not KOing a Blacephalon. I should be saying, ah, 70 damage, but then you had a choice band, one hit KO on a Blacephalon, but no, ladies and gentlemen, because you don't have a choice band. So now you're two hit KOing, and now it's a lot more awkward. Although I've said many, many, many times before, if you can't get a one hit KO, get a two hit KO with disruption, and this will do that nicely. But the other thing we've got to mention here is, if you want to play a water Pokemon that does automatic paralysis... We probably have to accept the fact that the Kyurem coming in Unbroken Bonds is better. That, for Water, Water Colorless, does 110 damage. Discard 2 Water Energy, Automatic Paralysis. Well, you can still use Naganadal and Quagsire with that. And then it's a basic. And it's essentially the same cost because we don't have Double Colorless anymore. And it does more damage. And it paralyzes everything. So as much as I like a Bomber Snow, it's essentially Kyurem as a Sage 1 that doesn't paralyze everything. Now the other thing is Kyurem does have to discard the energy, whereas a Bomber Snow doesn't. So you only need to get the energy on once there and you're golden. But do please bear in mind that we have Kyurem and there's a strong argument that Kyurem is better. A very strong argument. Now there is a second attack here. Water, water, colorless, colorless, 140 damage. 20 damage to yourself now if you're hitting for weakness this is great because this will get a one hit KO on Reshiram and Charizard tag team GX very very easily and if I'm going to be honest right if you're using Naganadal and Quagsire four energy is not that much different to three you're still probably okay because one Naganadal two turns Attach for the turn, Naganadal. Attach for the turn, Naganadal. Switch them all over. Oh, look. Now you're good. Cool. But it's not exactly perfect. Because you're only hitting 140. And like I say, weakness, you're good. And honestly, against the majority of non-GXs, you're really good here. Against most non-GXs, they're going down. So you've got something like a Zapdos of 110. That's quite good. That's going down. But then you've got stuff like Naganadal with 130, and that's going down. The aforementioned Kyurem, that's going down. My point is here that against non-GXs or anything you're hitting for weakness, 140's looking good. But we don't have Choice Band. And also, we're not getting Professor Kakui, and that's incredibly relevant. Because Dedene. You see, ladies and gentlemen... Dedene GX is going to be everywhere post-rotation. We're losing Tapu Lele, so if you want a basic Pokemon that you can play down for extra consistency in the early game, your choices are Dedene. That was not a dramatic pause, that was the end of the list. Use Dedene or bust. You've got to use Dedene, essentially. Well, cool. That's got 160 HP. So Choice Band or Kakui would mean you get a flat one-hit KO here, whereas now you're not getting a KO... You're doing a lot of damage. Yeah, that's not good, ladies and gentlemen. That That's not good. We're not a fan of this. And I think that's the big problem we run into with a Bomber Snow. It's a stage one, which is fine. And you can accelerate energy to it quite nicely. But to be perfectly honest with you, the second attack doesn't do quite as much damage. And the first attack, yeah, you don't have to discard energy and all of that. But I don't think it's giving us a compelling reason to play it over Kyurem. And that's an issue for me. I like this. And I want to play it. But I still end up in that situation of, do I really honestly see myself playing this over the Kyurem we're getting? And I don't think the answer is yes.
Now, I'm going to go ahead and give it between two and three Wassies. We don't give half Wassies. That would be barbaric. I do not think it's a bad card. But I do think that it's potentially just a worst version of Kyurem. And in that regard, I'm just a bit sad. But I would like to know how you feel, ladies and gentlemen. So please do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. But please do remember the rule. Be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash Wassy Plays, where we talk about games that don't have Pokemon in. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.